well, that kind of leads to this other point too, that kind of is kind of somewhat the white, white elephant in the room too of like, so we're dealing with a group of people that is thinking that slavery makes everything better or everything different than the South said. Um, so European movements may have been too liberal in what they accomplished, which does lead a little bit to um, what Michael Woods just wrote in his new book, that when you look at the South and secession, it is heavily dosed with an anti-democratic attitude. So again, I think in part that may speak to what you, you are arguing as well, especially with more of the conservative side of things. Yeah, this is, this is an anti-democratic impulse, for sure. As I've been saying, they want to preserve the idea of republicanism, but they're very clear that they want to temper that by mm -hmm. making it a white man's republic only. And so that's why they're using these international comparisons to try and dress up their anti-democratic movement in this language of nationalism that might be more resonant outside their borders. And of course, historically speaking, slavery had not necessarily been excluded from the Republic. Certainly when the American Republic was founded, slavery was allowed to exist um, and even encouraged in many ways. But again, that's changed by the middle of the 19th century. Abolitionism has spread. The U.S. is one of three slaveholding nations left in the Americas. And the North is increasingly turning to anti-slavery. So on some level, the Southerners that I'm looking at, again, what they're trying to do on the one hand is claim that a pro-slavery republic can still be a valid form of nationhood within this larger Atlantic world and international context. But on the other hand, they're also very much dressing up that anti-democratic impulse in these terms and language that might have broader appeal, that might resonate, again, beyond just Southern slaveholders. Even the liberal international perspective is very clear that, you know, again, the core of their belief is slavery, sorry, slave, the core of their belief is that anti-slavery is tyrannical, that white Southerners must have the right to use government to protect slavery, or else they're being oppressed the way European nations were being oppressed. And so a, a movement premised on preserving slavery, fundamentally anti-democratic. How do you pass it off? You wrap it up in prettier language. That's what they tried to do.